This is Cybert signing into Red Alert 3 on the map, Fire Island. And in the north, playing the Orange Soviets, this is Flowed. In the south, playing as the Empire, we have Unity is One. Hello, my name is Gigi the Machine from the General's Gentleman, and I'm co-casting this game with Cybert. It's great to have you here once again in Red Alert 3. We've, uh, we've never quite been so close as this unless mm -hmm. that other game comes out in, the, in that case yeah. we were close in that game as well but the deleted scenes yeah yeah oh engineer Ooh. oh gets the cap imperial warrior could not run fast enough that guy just like slams into the wall right as the door closes and he's like ah one inch away he's, he's like uh, harry and ron in the chamber of secrets just as <laughs> Platform three, uh, th what is it? Seven and three quarters closes. They run into it. Is that what happened? Definitely, I I know that reference. But uh, both of the oil derricks. No, I haven't actually seen the movies, uh, or read the books. But I've seen wow. part of some of the movies. <laughs> but uh. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, uh, oil derricks both go over to the empire player. Float into, of course, gets cash back on the northern one, and uh, float into is now going to capture the southern one. But we have ourselves a classic Soviets versus Empire on Fire Island. Very standard opener for Flowed into double refinery. He's got his war factory, a couple of terror drones, a couple of sickles running around the map. And Unity is one also looking very standard for this opening. So both of these guys will have a solid foundation to spring off of into the mid game. First Tengu on the field. It is going to deploy on top of this Flak Trooper. Doesn't get the... Oh, the... Oh, no. Didn't get the Magnetic Mine off. So he will lose um, a fair bit of mining time. Probably not the Harvester with the Sickles here on, on the way to hold the line. Um, two Tengus versus one. The Sickle, I, th I think, wins. We'll see how my memory serves me. Maybe not. Unfortunately, four flowed into. He uh, is not having a great start to this game. He will eventually secure this refinery location again, but that is not great to have your refinery get offline for this long. He at least does get the cash back on that Tangu. Second wave of Tangus is coming in. Three Tangus getting tacked a little bit there by the Bullfrog. Actually taking a lot of damage by that Bullfrog. So that's going to make it a lot easier for these Sickles to clean this up. Nothing coming out of the War Factory. A bit problematic here for Float Into. Second Sickle is coming in from the south. First Sickle gets eliminated. Tangu now going to be potentially chased away here. And this Harvester is so low on health that float into is going to have trouble keeping that alive. Maybe it barely survives. War Collector but... in the middle also isn't mining. There's another uh. Tengu uh, blocking that mining operation. So the ec economy not going well here for Float. Um, he is picking off some of these Tengus, but he's falling behind in cash. A nice Teradrone Micro to keep both of those Tengus locked down. Uh, the Sickles do finally get the kills. This might turn into a situation where the Tengus have been overcommitted, but right now this is looking like a big win for Unity as one. He's up basically a thousand credits per minute over his opponent. These Sickles are really low. Uh, oh, the Terradrone doesn't get inside the Tengu. Um, no, no Crusher Crane here, so he's going to lose his Sickles. Nowhere to run, nowhere to lick their wounds. And this refinery, sorry, the Lore Collector in the middle is also very wounded, so can get picked off pretty quickly. And, and even this ore refinery is quite exposed, so there's a lot of prime juicy targets for these Tengus. The, the world is their oyster. Oh, that Tengu will get locked down. There are, as you said, a lot of prime targets for these Tengus. And very little Soviet units to do any real punishing of them, and... When, you, when you've got one player with three refineries and the other player with two refineries, you don't expect the player with two refineries to have the stronger economy, but that is the situation that we're in. Unity is one has done such a phenomenal job of harassing this Soviet player to death that Float Into has started this game out at a huge economic disadvantage. Tengu's going to die to a Terror Drone. War Collector barely survives here. The refinery's in a bit of trouble in the middle. He's just focusing down the building itself. 
Uh, he's trying to repair that one, trying to build more walls to hold onto it. But the wall factory is quite far away, and it will take some time to get some reinforcements. This is a bad situation. The one bright mark for Float Into is this double vet terror drone, which is looking for his next Tangu kill. He's hoping that those Tangus transform and that he's able to get oh. the infect. I think he's going to go heroic. I think this one heroic terror drone is going to be like the only... Oh, don't. Don't kill it. Oh, good. Oh, there it is. Here yeah. are the people. <laughs> that's well, like we also the, have... the one thing that's going well. Yeah, this, this heroic terror drone is on the propaganda posters to inspire the people. We do have the super reactor, so we have hammer tanks now. There's also a sentry gun um, defending this top left refinery, so... It looks like Floyd has stabilized. Um, he's going to be feeling a little better about himself. Also, putting a forward barracks there to try to capture this oil jerrick. So it is forced a Tengu away to try to defend this one, prevent a capture. Ooh. And there is the engineer coming out now. Will he drop in time? No, oh, he drops. Oh! That was very Whoa. weird because if the position had been different, that engineer actually would have gotten that capture. Oh, he and blocked it. Is that what happened? It like moved him out of the, the capture? Yeah, essentially the Tengu body blocked that engineer at like the last second. And the result is uh, he got the capture. Or he didn't get okay, the capture. Okay, now it's his turn. <laughs> oh, the toxin gets the snipe on the engineer. That perfect. was so clutch. Absolutely perfectly that. done there for uh, for both players, actually. Getting the kill on the engineer of their opponent. The big problem with Unity is one is he was floating 4.5k for a minute or two there. And now he's still floating nearly 3k in the bank. And he had this fantastic opportunity, he had this fantastic opening, and he sat around on it. And that is allowed Float into to stabilize, but now it's, you know, it's going to be a much more even position than it would have been. MCV taking some damage from these tank busters, only bullfrogs to defend them. We do have this expansion on the water for Unity as one. Uh, he's, he's just about to get the capture now on the oil refinery. So selling off the barracks to get an Imperial Warrior to keep the conscript at bay. So now he has double oil derricks and he's advancing with his tank busters. Not a lot of anti-infantry on the board. Oh, sentry gun in the top is going to get targeted down by those chopper VXs. MCV going on the warpath on the front line. With the help of that terror drone, he will be able to clean this up, but he won't be able to deal with these choppers in the north. They're going to get at least this harvester and they might get chased away by these bullfrogs, but no, they actually don't get the harvester there he did not stick that out at all meanwhile the mcb down to half health in the middle of the map did get a couple of kills though we saw unity as one micro and chopper vx's let the tengu uh get crushed so holds on to the refinery holds on to the mcv but he may want to repair this one um building another barracks so really looking to capture this oil derrick Chopper VX is in the north. One of them gets its wings clipped. Unity is one again with 4K in the bank and with some unit control that is allowing Float into to land some kills here. More Tangu harass that doesn't quite work. Two Tangus getting captured basically in the middle of the map by that terror drone stasis and eliminated essentially for free by the Soviet player. Bit by bit, it feels like Float into has chipped his way back into this game after that fantastic start by Unity is one. Top of the X going to take him down by these bullfrogs. All Derek has been has been secured, but capturing it is another matter. And still just pumping out Tengus. No sign of any further tech for Unity as one. This game has been quite cutthroat. No players wanting to invest their resources in going for their tier three. But we do have the airfield up and running. Going to be producing some aircraft. And there's a twin blade that comes out. Really good counter to these tank busters. Fourth refinery coming up for the Empire player, but he's going to be positioning it in the bottom right-hand corner. So as that twin blade goes towards the middle of the map, he's taking a kind of sneaky expansion in the bottom right, hoping that Float Into won't notice. Engineer loaded up into this bullfrog. Let's see if he tries to unload it on the oil derrick. There are um, MiGs are circling oh. down to the, the southern oil derrick, so we'll give chance to capture the top one. Southern Engineer is sniped. 
Yeah. Oh, the bullfrogs are they're attacking, so still has the engineer in one of these bullfrogs. Unless I'm missing something. Was it the one that was in there? He did launch a bullfrog I, or an engineer. I don't know if there was a second engineer, but he did launch one engineer in the south there, and that one got sniped. Tangus okay. and Tankbusters making a bit of a dance with this twin blade bullfrog combo from the Soviet player. Flowed into with this airfield and the crusher crane in the middle of the map has kind of a stronghold there. He would love to either kill off these oil derricks, and I think at this point you just kill off the oil derricks. He's lost so much money trying to capture them. I don't know how much value <laughs> he'll really get. As I say that, yeah, he does finally. Fallacy. Oh, he does get it. He just gets it. Defender Barely. VX completing now. Bullfrogs can't shoot at it. Uh, it does finish, but it's so wounded the Twin Blades finish it off no problem. Meanwhile, tank, bun tank Buster's on the right side looking to take out the old refinery, but all they find are Twin Blades. Big transform from the Tangus, and now it's Tank Busters and Tangus going to be going up against these bears and these hammer tanks. The bears don't land the big minion kills that they wanted, but the hammer tanks are able to get the crush to finish the job. The twin blade hammer tank combo is barely enough to kill the Tangus, and Unity is one commits so many Tangus to these attacks. Most of the Tangus going down, and so few Soviet units actually fell. Unity is one ahead for almost the entirety of this game but throwing away so many units that it actually doesn't feel like he's ahead even though he's had the better economy for almost the entirety of this game beautiful micro there for float and he does have the mcb moving out making advantage of the the huge army disparity picking off so many units allows him to get this expansion on the water but there is actually a yari mini sub it is prowling around could deny this one but i think it's out of position I think he, he went into the kind of a corner of the map down there at the south and I Unity find, is oh, one. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's hard to actually spot there. Unity is one has kind of successfully pulled off this sneaky corner expansion. So for the current moment, he has kind of an expansion uh, that's invisible to his opponent. That naval expansion for float into hasn't actually started yet. He's got that. Oh, my gosh. Another engineer snipe no! float into. He's trying so hard to control these oil derricks, but at this point, they are not worth it. My heart cannot take any more of these fallen engineers. <laughs> well, I hope engineer as well it. there. Yeah, gets yeah, another one. Unity is one. This is a bloodbath. I would not sign up for this job. Normally, engineers, you know, you've got like the first two minutes of the game, and then if you're an engineer, you just wait for the next match. No one builds you after the first couple of minutes, but in this one, you are being sacrificed constantly. Nice harvester snipe there by Float Into. He gets the cash back as well, so 350, and he kills a harvester of his opponent, which is just a nice little boost there. Makes you feel good and gives you some cash. Another engineer <laughs> coming in here. I think he'll get it this time though, looks pretty safe to me. Twin Blades continuing to do some damage and more Yari mini subs are being produced. The Twin Blade Bullfrog Army is a little vulnerable to these submarines. Ooh, and float into, he just abandons the water. He's like, you know what, this is not the time. We've got this ground fight coming up. These hammer tanks able to leech away one tsunami tank before the fight even begins. A second tsunami tank gets leeched away before the fight even really starts. Unity is one, gonna split off a couple of tangus to go for some harass in the north. He's gonna try and find some cross map damage, but Honestly, Float Into has just been controlling the middle of the map so incredibly well that a little bit of cross-map damage is okay for him to take. He did take one Harvester, one of them died, but in at the cost of two Tengus, not too bad. Yeah, the MCV in the middle, it will help uh, this ground army if he goes for for a fight. Keeping those those Tsunamis and the, and the Tengus, um, sorry, the, the choppers moving around. So the, the MCV, oh, is he looking for the, the top left expansion? I think he's he's deciding that there's too many subs in the water. Wants the comfort of land. Of that nice friendly land expansion. Yeah. This would yeah, actually be him. a pretty rare game if both of the corner bases are taken. That's one normally the one refinery location that isn't taken by either player, but in this case, it might be taken by both. Twin Blade's going to be moving in for a bit of harass. They will get a harvester. Essentially for free. Cool. We have this sea wing. Not a very 
common unit, I suspect. Oh, Derek finally goes down. No more engineers will, will fall. Well, don't worry. There's still two observation <laughs> posts that these guys can trade. Sending endless engineers to their death to capture observation posts. That's the next phase of the meta. So both players... Well, a lot of hammer tanks. Stabilizing at four refineries, but different four refineries. One on water, one on land in the middle of the map. And then they've both taken those corner bases. Float into... Uh, float into... Uh, and Unity is one. Equal matched in the economy, but not for the majority of this game. It, can, it has kind of worked out because Unity is one has been perhaps more wasteful with his units, so that economic advantage that he's had has kind of evened out, but now they are actually equal, now that there are no oil derricks and they both have four refineries. Look at this power generator in the bottom right corner. I'm pretty sure that was a rally point issue. He rallied his Defender VX and then accidentally rallied the power generator. Wah, wah. I'm and guessing that's what happened to... here. Now he'll have to do with the satellite drop, forces the sell off there. Float into hasn't been able to actually hit the harvester yet, though. Whoa! Look at this disrespect. The the forward refinery from Float. Uh, gonna try his luck at m mining the land. Uh, he does that while he distracts his opponent with bullfrogs and tropper VXs. Keeps the the forces of of Unity as one defending this corner Ooh. base. <laughs> Loses the power plant. Okay, here come the the Tengus. They're doing so much damage. Some of them fall, but they land just in time. No anti-air on the ground, however. A bit of a mess there from both players. Unity is one taking some damage in a couple of different sections of the map as as Float Into takes that forward expansion that you were talking about. Tesla Coil is also there, but of course low power mode currently for Float, so... Oh, and he's mm. building the reactor to wall off the Tesla Coil. I love that. Oh, that's a nice touch. Adds a flat out cannon of position. as well. Or Collector going to barely survive, however, as those Twin Blades get immediately picked off. Yeah, the Twin Blades have been jumped on several times by Unity as one. Chopper VX is rolling up to the middle of the map just as this Flak Cannon is finishing. They get their Rocket Pod upgrade and the Flak goes down. One Chopper VX falls, but now this expansion is under threat. A couple of Tank Busters going to be showing up as well. One of them going heroic there. And this was a forward, aggressive, maybe even, uh, you know, haughty expansion there. But it is not going to last. Tengu's flying through the bullfrogs. They do land on top of these poor undefended bullfrogs. They get cleaned up here. Oh my gosh. The cost of only uh, only two Tengu's. But now the all of the Tengu's are on the ground. They have no cooldown on their ability. So getting a little bit out of position, but finally the refinery falls. The flat cannon's been rebuilt just in time for tank busters to kill the refinery. A bar even a forward barracks is being built looking for some bears. The hammer tanks are moving in, but there's so many tank busters. This is a bit of an awkward engagement here for Unity as one float into finally bringing those tanks to the front line. The bear's enough of a distraction. The Chopper VX is getting their wings clipped by that flak cannon, and the flak survives. Unity is one's oh. economy cannot sustain him. The GG. Oh, comes it's a refinery in. core. He rallied that into the army, and, and during that fight, oh, we man. saw that refinery fall in the corner as well. Wow, what a beautiful game. Uh, really cool micro from Flood, keeping his units alive, getting a lot of a veterancy on his units. Um, yeah, Unity has won. Had some excellent Tengu pressure, but maybe should have taken the, the foot off the pedal a little bit. Chill, um, do some yoga, and not quite uh, continue to lose Tengus into the meat grinder. Yeah, this is definitely one of those games where the harassment starts out and it's working and then they just keep up the pressure on the harassment and at some point they end up making so many mistakes, losing so much to the harassment that their opponent stabilizes. And Unity has won ahead on economy that entire game and never able to close it out. Always a little bit too sloppy with those units. Flowed into the, the slow and steady won the race in this case. And that will do it for this match. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And this is Cyber signing out.